please subscribe. New for 2018. Fiat updates the 500 liters exterior with a new front and rear fascia, new exterior side moldings, new wheel designs, and new daytime running light lens and rear side reflector designs. Inside, the 500 liters gets a new instrument cluster display, a redesigned center console with relocated cup holders, a new gear shifter, parking brake handle, an additional USB port, LED interior lighting, and a new steering wheel. New standard equipment includes a rear view camera and the Uconnect 4 system with the 7.0 inch center display screen and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. Blue denim, Arancho Pastello, Pastel Orange, and Bronze Metalizado, Metallic Bronze, are new exterior colors. Vehicle Summary The 500 liters is Fiat's largest and most expensive hatchback, besides the pricier 500D, positioned above the 500 and 500X models. Overview the 2018 Fiat 500 liters comes equipped with one powertrain option, a 160 horsepower, 184 pound to foot of to work 1.4 liter turbocharged i4 engine backed by a 6 speed automatic transmission that routes power to the front wheels and delivers an EPA rated 22 thirtieths of a mile per gallon city highway. In motor trend testing, the 500 liters trekking hit 60 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds and stopped from 60 miles per hour in a respectable 121 feet. The Bass 500 liters pop comes standard with 16-inch aluminum wheels, a bright exhaust tip, heated and powered side view mirrors, front and rear one-touch automatic windows, leather-wrapped steering wheel and gear shift knob, and the previously mentioned Uconnect 4 system with the 7.0-inch center display and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. The top lounge model adds dual-zone automatic temperature control. 17-inch painted aluminum wheels, chrome exterior mirrors, leather-trimmed seats, heated front seats, you connect for with navigation, and a Beats premium audio system. Safety In ES testing, the 2017 Fiat 500 Libras received the lowest rating of poor for the small overlap front crash evaluation but received the highest rating of good in the remaining four crash tests, moderate overlap front, side, roof strength, and head restraints and seats. The front crash prevention evaluation was not conducted because the Fiat 500 liters does not have emergency automatic braking or any driver assist safety feature. The 500 liters comes standard with the previously mentioned rear view camera and is available with rear parking sensors. What we think? Out on the open road, this little engine struggles a bit to hustle the biggest 500 up to speed. For around town driving, it is just fine, but I am concerned about how it would perform on mountain vacations with the whole family on board and a cargo compartment filled with weekend gear, we said in a first drive review of the 2017 Fiat 500 liters. The combined result is that the 2017 Fiat 500 liters doesn't feel like a very sporty car deep down, which may explain why there's no Abarth variant offered and why Fiat has never done one of those little blue pill Viagra gag commercial featuring the 500 liters. No, if you're into cheeky, boutique small four doors and you need a bit more sport, the Mini Club Man might be a better choice, we concluded. In 2014 Car of the Year testing, we said, the 500 liters weebled and wobbled but didn't fall down as editors pushed it through the ride and handling course. Drives like it looks, top heavy, wallowing at times, but also surprisingly stable at higher speeds. The judges didn't care for the interior, the emergency brake hides under the driver's armrest, and the gear shift knob on the manual model is the size of a baseball. The second row folds forward and up to create a useless storage space. The upright driving position and the lack of bolstering make it easy for the driver to slide around the seat. However, the judges agreed that the 500 liters is driver-friendly, ergonomically sound, and is relatively quiet with a nice ride. 
Attempting to sell the 500 liters here on its practical merits is a waste of energy, just as it would be trying to sell Ram pickups to Europeans. Cool fact. When the 500 liters was first launched, the hatchback utilized a 6-speed manual transmission and a 6-speed dual-clutch automatic, now it is just offered with a traditional 6-speed automatic.